up guys juggalo here welcome to PC news you can use again it's kind of informal just because my shift has changed and everything so that means I'm working from 6 a.m. until 2 o'clock and everything and I'm getting used to that also it's a lot easier to upload it if I use my camera here versus using the camcorder here for some reason but anyways let's get to the news GTX 690 breaks 20,000 at 3 Mark 11. They're using a Intel 3960X processor clocked at 4.50 gigahertz, 16 gigs of quad channel DDR3 2133 megahertz RAM and using the EVGA X79 classified. Next up, we have the LG launches a pair of TV monitors. Um, basically, they both use IPS panels and cutting edge technology and yada 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 kind of stuff and it's going to introduce uh, the newest cinema 3D technology and all that good stuff so anything with IPS monitors that pretty much are going to have really good picture quality and everything like that next up Lee and Lee to showcase moving chassis at Computex and basically it's a train and they have a video in this uh, link that I have and it's showing like it has moving parts and everything so yeah it's okay and cool and all but okay what about it kinda deal next up we have the new AMD A series APU win best choice of Computex Taipei award so congrats to AMD next up Rotosub and Noctua announced partnership for PC fans for noise cancellation and everything like that so they're basically coming out with fans that would be really quiet I don't know if they're out or not but uh, let's see their goal is to get this out within the next year or 18 months so we'll see how that goes next up Swift Tech launches the Apunji Drive 2 CPU water block with integrated uh, pump basically it's your I can compare this to like a uh, Corsair H50 where the pump is physically on top of the CPU but with this you can use your own radiator and everything which is pretty cool it's a hundred forty four dollars in 95 cents for the 1155 slash 1366 version 2011 socket is 135 dollars and ninety five cents AMD version is hundred and thirty eight dollars and ninety five cents and keep in mind you have to buy your own tubing your own rad and your fan still so I personally would just get the RX uh, Raystorm I should say XSPC Raystorm kit that that's just my personal preference really next up uh, pretty much anybody that uses uh, their SSDs and wants to see the performance of the SSDs and everything like that. Finalware ADA AIDA 64 version 2.50 is released so go ahead and download that and check out the status of your SSD if you got one. Speaking of SSDs, OZZ launches the Agility 4 SSD series. Enermax makes a debut in liquid cooling solution at Computex. More or less it's exactly like the H50 to H60, the PN, PNY cooler, the EN, what is it, the Intel cooler, uh, Corsair, AMD, it's pretty much the same thing to me in terms of design, but we'll see how it can really dissipate heat and all that stuff, so we'll see. Next up, Superflow, uh, excuse me, Ready 650 watt modular PSU with avionics grade contacts and basically what they're claiming is that this PSU is 90 percent efficient so we actually have to see if it really does because it qualifies the 80 percent gold or plus gold but we have to see if it really does the 90 percent efficiency like they're saying next up we have be quiet releases dark power pro 10 its quietest active cooled PSU and pretty much is, is made in Germany so we'll see if this will be released in America but this looks exactly like uh, Red Today 
so it'll be in my PC news you can use this week hopefully and it looks exactly like the Corsair uh, power supply so Be Quiet is using or Corsair is using Be Quiet PSUs and putting their Corsair logo on it that's what it looks like and or copying them alright next up Gigabyte is the first with validated 7.032 gigahertz CPU clock world record on the Ivy Bridge Congrats to Gigabyte. Next up, we have Asus Ready's two variants of the Maximus V Formula motherboard, and uh, pretty much they're adding certain features to the Z77 base uh, motherboard. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, if you are looking into getting a Z77 uh, motherboard, go ahead and check these out. All right. Next up, we have Doom BFG edition announcement and the trailer is posted and uh, pretty much God Doom has been around God when I played it, it was in the 90s but I'm sure it came out before the 90s and everything um, pretty much they're saying that they're gonna have Doom for the Xbox 360 the PlayStation 3 and they're gonna have it on the PC now the PC, the graphics won't change at all, but they're revamping it up for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation C, uh, 3 so you can play it on those consoles. So, also I think you'll get um, more levels too with getting this BFG edition from Doom. Next up, MSI introduces new cost-effective GeForce GTX 550 Ti graphics card, and it's only $150. The reference uh, clock speed is 900 megahertz on the core, 1800 megahertz CUDA cores, and uh, 3.80 gigahertz uh, GDDR5 memory effective. So let's see, the GPU packs 192 CUDA cores, 192 bit. Y G D D R five memory interface and it holds one gig of memory. So this is really for a, a really good um, HTC or HTPC, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and see how that comes about in the reviews and everything. Next up, Sapphire announces the Radeon seventy nine fifty Flex edition, and basically. Uh, this looks like a kind of card that is really meant to be overclocked. It has a different design. It has two fans uh, to cool the graphics card and all that good stuff. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, more than likely, they're going to probably release it during Computex, which is this week. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, Mitsubishi introduces the 27-inch Diamond. I hope I'm saying this right. Krista Wide IPS LCD monitor. And it's 27 inches. It has 19, 20 by 1080 pixel resolution, 3.5 ms response time, uh, basically 178 degrees viewing angle. It has 8001 contrast ratio, 250 CD brightness, and it only consumes 39 watts. Uh, you have display inputs include TV, 2 HDMI, 1 DVI, and 1 D sub, and it has 6 watt stereo speakers included. So, but personally, I would just use aftermarket speakers, in my opinion. Alright, next up we have Lian Lee announces two brushed aluminum cases. Uh, they more or less look like a cube. And I'm guessing this is really for the people who are using mini ITX motherboards or me, uh, excuse me, mini ATX motherboards kind of deal. This is what is really um, set for. And uh, this has a three-speed fan controller and everything like that. So it looks pretty decent, you know, for what it has and everything. And let's see the price point. That's what I'm really looking for is the price point. Price point. And. Uh, the price point is a hundred and twenty two dollars excuse me hundred twenty dollars it's a little pricey for a case that small in my opinion so 
Yeah. Next up, we have AMD. No more monthly AMD Catalyst updates. That's right. AMD is cutting the whole, we'll update it monthly. Instead, do what NVIDIA has been doing and correct the drivers when needed and come out with the official patch instead of coming with a patch every month. So, that being said, we have uh, AMD Catalyst 12.6 beta and AMD Catalyst feature preview for Windows 8 is available so if you have Windows 8 and you want to check that out go ahead and get the 12.6 beta next up we have uh, Windows 8 release candidate is there, uh, excuse me available if you want to buy it and everything like that or try it before you buy it excuse me also I saw like AMD or not AMD excuse me Microsoft is going to try to do some deal like if you have Windows 7 you only pay $15 to go to Windows 8 but then in their latest uh, marketing uh, release they said hey we expect fewer people to get Windows 8 and everything and basically Windows 8 is more or less they're trying to transition one operating system to fulfill the phone the tablet and the PC uh, pretty much I'll be sticking with Windows 7 in my preference for uh, my operating system. I don't really see the need to uh, get Windows 8 in my opinion, so I'll be sticking with Windows 7. Next up, the patch for Battlefield 3 should happen yesterday, so that means I'm a day late. So it's going to be June 4th to the 5th, so it's today. So Hopefully you guys updated your Battlefield 3 game and it fixes some uh, patch or like basically mess ups. Like the dart gun doesn't come out with the dart actually has like bullets or something like that and apparently people were taking advantage of that so they fixed that and all that stuff. Next up we have Gale launches the Icy Vision A VGA cooler and basically this thing comes packed. It has five uh, heat pipes, and it also has a whole bunch. Let me check this out. It has heat sinks too, so you can include, uh, excuse me, include your VRAM and everything like that as well. Instead of just cooling just the GPU, you have everything to cool. Comes with everything you need. Um, has a five-year warranty. I'm trying to see what else. It has looking for the price, and the price is only 55 bucks, which is not too shabby. So that's pretty nice, in my opinion. It's not too expensive, and it is uh, somewhat priced decently, so people can get it and overclock their cards more if they want to, and everything. It doesn't really say. Uh, let me see if it says anything. It says it's going to be meant for the 7950 and the 7970, and is dedicated exclusively to AMD VGA cards so sorry NVIDIA no improvements for you pretty much on as far as aftermarket cooling alright next up we have Dota 2 is confirmed free to play and everything but if you want to buy the game you get like early access and certain stuff like pretty much they're trying to get everybody to buy into the game and stuff like that alright next up this has to be the most expensive pair of headphones I have ever seen. I'm sure there's others out there that cost more, but here's the price point. $2,000. Who makes it? Logitech, and it's going to be called the Ultimate Ears Personal Reference Monitors Launch. So basically, these are, I would hope that they would custom fit inside your ear like take that nasty gel and stick it in your ear harden up and make a headphone like that that's what I would hope so but they're probably coming out with pre-made it costs two thousand dollars so more or less they're trying to come out with studio grade headphones and everything like that and let me check my time can't really tell unfortunately but that is it guys um, Sorry, no big 73 inch TV so you guys can see it. I've got a lot of stuff going on uh, concerning with my rent going up and 
the aluminum for my Star Wars AT AT build will ship out today so hopefully I get it sometime this week maybe Friday or Tuesday at the latest so thank you guys for your support and subscribing and everything I'm up to a thousand thirty four subscribers excuse me so thank you very much sorry this PC news isn't informal and probably a little rushed but I'm just trying to keep on track on what I want to do and hopefully I'll do the next PC news on my 73 inch so everybody can see what I'm talking about as far as product wise and everything like that because Computex they got a lot of stuff coming out and it's pretty sweet looking in my opinion and as always guys comment subscribe rate this video click that like button and you guys have a great day bye